Right. Hey, we're the Leadbetters, and you're watching Sunday Sessions Project. Dust and dust and face to face and this old dog can't be replaced what's right is yours is yours is mine and just can't say enough goodbyes Now brace yourself Cause this gets rough Sometimes you're hard And ain't strong enough Now what's right is right And so they say And it's bitter to fall Digging a grave today They rig the game Mistakes were made to be made All these glitches I see Are right here On the verge of killing me Now dad's a die And mom's a drown And I just can't Fuck out this town And if I'm satisfied Would that be enough Just drag my feet in there When I play the dust But if things don't change I'm gonna go insane and All these treasures I seek Right here On the verge of killing me All my friends, they never come too much I'm not sure I'm not sure at all no I can't look back it's all I know I think I'm coming home I want you why can you just try to Uh, that was a song called uh, The Verge of Killing Me. Um, that's a song that uh, we wrote for uh, the Leadbetters. Uh, me and Rocco were in the Leadbetters. Uh, he's actually the bassist of the Leadbetters, believe it or not. Uh, but uh, he moved into me back, moved in with me back in August, and uh, we became roommates. And also, uh, we've been jamming throughout the pandemic and writing songs because uh, the other guys haven't been around. We haven't been able to practice. Um, so we've been kind of getting songs together for when we're able to get back out and play uh, full shows again and do the, uh, the tribute band, Pearl Jam, Leadbetters thing. But we wanted to sprinkle in some, uh, some, some original songs, too, to kind of make it a little more fun. Uh, maybe we were just bored, you know. Uh, so that was uh, a song called The Verge of Killing Me. And uh, this is a song called uh, Sweet Watermelon. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Sweet water now My Cadillac dream I can barely remember the day you abandoned me Too far from the furthest for my brain not to implode I can see black and red on the bottom of a boat There's a place down in Shawnee where the old has a cell Not a name on the door, but on a menacing hotel Your smile chased through the mountains, winding up peas and seals I know it's not much of a memory, but damn I would kill To be back there just for a second in your arm And there's no cause for alarm I never meant you no harm It feels like I'm sinking in I'm melting ice getting thin There ain't no way I can win But it's a sad goodbye There's nothing but office, man, I can't survive Can't get myself off of this career suicide Where do I sign the papers to make all the amends? I gotta see how deep I can get before I get the bends How long till you get your hands out on the throat Of the man who stole your boat Made you believe you could fly I noticed I'm sinking in I'm watching ice getting thin No fucking way I could win It's my funeral pyre So settle in And settle out Of course that defect of boy next door And let it in and let it out, the trees all rotting and bending more. Diagonal, smiling only you and I could ever know. Let it be, I like could see your heart up traced in mountain snow. So it was uh, Sweet Watermelon. Uh, that's uh, one we wrote together. Uh, really the first one that you came to me with, uh, that riff, uh, back in August, I guess, when, uh, when uh, you moved in with me. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is a song called Tonight um, that uh, we put together. Um, this is uh, not a lot to say about it. Let's just play it, huh? All right, uh, give it a shot, Rocco. Let's go for a ride and passengers and side by side. Highest heights contain the longest view, but I couldn't see what I was meant to do until now. Cause I'm manifesting now. A destiny and I'll fit like it's a part of me I found myself some insanity I'm gonna sleep sound tonight round these circles in pouring rain 
how these hearts they find and never change I don't know exactly where it flies never felt completely satisfied until now no you can't man or face your destiny without me yourself a couple enemies I am bound for what is right in front of me and I'm on a seam sound tonight I'm on a seam sound tonight Standing ground, living in, thinking there's only one way to find it now, and I'll be here with you tonight. Thanks for having us, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is pretty awesome. We got to play some songs here. There's uh, three of them, right? I'm a, yeah. Good. yeah. Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in yet once again to another episode of the Sunday Sessions Project. Unfortunately, they've been sparse this year due to COVID. But fortunately enough, we are lucky enough to have with us tonight Jamie and Rocco from the Leadbetters. Guys, how are you guys doing tonight? Doing well, thanks. Doing good. Thanks for having us. Hey, man. Thank you guys for coming down, doing a, a few songs for us here, helping us put out another new episode for the crowd. So, uh, you know, real quick, give me a brief history. How'd you guys get together, you know, form the lead betters, find each other, you know? Um, let's see. Well, you know, uh, a while back, a guy, Joe Montone, he had mentioned to me that he wanted to put together a uh, band to do a Pearl Jam 10 um you know, uh, do the whole entire 10 album all the way through. And at the time, um, didn't really have a band to do it, but we put together a few guys. I hit up um, my cousin, Matt Walters, who plays here sometimes. Yeah, we know Matt. Rye. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he hit up a guy named James Burke, who happened to be playing outside a place called Monkey's Uncle in Doylestown that day. And okay. um, the guy loved Pearl Jam, so I listened to him play. The guy was great. Had him try out. Um, one of my... One of my sons, actually, friends from school, uh, his dad came to the birthday party, and uh, okay. he's like, I used to play in this band, and da, 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 da. And I was like, why don't you join the, the lead, this, well, we were going to call it the lead betters at that point. I was <laughs> like, why don't you join this Pearl Jam thing Tribute we're doing? Band. And it was just for a one-off. Like, it was only yeah. for this one show, and we needed a bassist, so I was like, oh, we should hit up Rocco, because he played bass back in the day. Funny no, thing I is, no, no, I don't. He did play bass back in the day. He played guitar. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, like, I hit him All up, right. and, and he was like, he was so into doing it and hadn't played music in a while. He's just like, screw it. I'm not even going to tell Jamie that I don't play the bass. I'm nice. just going to learn faked the it, bass. You know, learn the songs <laughs> real quick, so he, showed up and uh, tried out. Yeah, and, and he got the playing. part. He learned the bass. And then, uh, next thing you know, we did the show. And uh, that first show, we did it at uh, Maxwell's on Main. Uh, that went really well. And uh, next thing you know, uh, I'm sorry, you guys told me to hold the mic up, and I totally put it down. <laughs> That's quite I right. let my guard down. Um, but yeah, we did that first show and it, it just, uh, we kind of like looked at each other like, maybe we should do this more. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's what we did. Nice. So, you know, everything going on nowadays, what have you guys been doing over the past year with kind of everything the way it is? I know we've seen you a couple times, Jamie, down at the uh, Bishop Winery. 
Yeah, they do a good like socially distanced thing out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, people are uh, out in the field, um, uh, so that's been kind of cool. Like you can get out and play in the gazebo and play out to like people that set up their own little like pods with their families, have tents, chairs. Um, nice. Bishop Estate's been awesome. Uh, Villa Capri as well. They've been doing uh, as much as they can with uh, virtual shows during the lockdown. Okay, um, yeah, we've the played horse. a couple couple open mics up there at Villa. Testing out the waters for the new the the, the new the new original songs, you nice. know, and uh, you know that that's basically what we've been doing for the past couple of months is just trying to work on uh, original songs, and it's it's been great working with Jamie. Um, you know, after moving in with him, it's just I mean we're surrounded by music and just talent. You know, just we're, we've been playing as much as we can right. and uh, coming up with some stuff, and hopefully it uh, sounds good to all the other ears as it goes, does for us. You know, yeah. so. Well, it sounded great tonight when you guys playing for us. Thank Greatly you. appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all, man. It's my first time living with another musician, so like <laughs> to see like how much you can get done when like you just like have another musician around you have to like schedule practices and all that. Yeah. You know, like it really makes a difference. I, I for me, like I've been amazed. I think that's been the biggest thing is like at any point we can be like, hey, let's try this riff. Like let's try this bridge part. Let's try this thing, and uh, and we can just do it right there. We don't have to like get together and wait for Thursday at eight o'clock, and then ah, oh, somebody has to watch the kid, and I can't do it. But hopefully the Leadbetters are watching, the other Leadbetters are watching, <laughs> and know that we still love you. Yes, and we and want to play soon. Yes, Very soon. we miss you guys tons, and we want to play again. Yes, we can't wait. We're looking forward to it, but only when it's safe again for everyone. Right. There you go. Well, you guys live together. You haven't killed each other, so, you know, you must Not be yet. coming up with something great, you know, <laughs> if you haven't gotten to that point yet. So, you know, are you guys, what do you got going on in the future? Anything coming up here for people to look forward to? Uh, at the same time, where can people find things if you guys got something coming up? Give me an idea of what's going on there. Um, you know, basically, uh, there isn't a lot of shows right now. I think people were kind of uncertain what was going on going yeah. forward. Um, I am playing, like I said, at the Villa Capri. I'm still mm-hmm. doing that. Um, I don't know when my next show is there, actually, to be honest with you. I'd have to ask. But um, I do the Bishop State Winery still every single uh, fourth Saturday of the month. So I'll be there at the end of this okay. month on the fourth Saturday, whatever date that happens to be this month. I'm not sure. So. Gotcha. Now, with the Villa Capri, I know you said they were virtual. Like, can people log in? How do we find you on um, those? Well, they, they were doing virtual, like, back during the uh, the December 11th, January 4th lockdown. Okay. So now we're into the new um, – now they're open, I think, 50% seating, so they do can do inside stuff again. So uh, now there's people. We're actually going to a show there tonight to see uh, someone called Skylar Love play, who is also a very talented young musician locally. So uh, very nice. check her out if you get a chance. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so where can I find you guys' stuff? Like you say, you're working on the originals. When that's coming out, where can I yeah. find what you have now? Like, give me well, an idea. Uh, People like your music want to yeah, actually this, check you out. You, know? got, you guys have the first recordings of the original stuff, basically. Oh, perfect. Right? Sort well, of. Steve, so, we yeah. did those scratch tracks with Steve. Yeah, we, 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 did, uh, we did all the songs that we played tonight, basically, in, a, in our, in our uh, other guitars' uh, living quarters. Uh, yeah. Recorded it and just a scratch tracks, demo stuff to, to uh, kind of get circulated within the band, get to, get the ideas out. The the um, and you start know, adding lead guitar parts and drums right. and things like that, so Very we can cool. add a little bit more to it. Yeah, than just so what we got going so on. So right now, there's nothing hard, you know, that we can actually offer for mm-hmm. uh, the stuff that we played. But um, I mean, again, the Leadbetters are not down and out. We're we're taking a little hiatus. That's our our bread and butter right now where um you know we were seeing a good rise in in um you know interest from from the community so you know it's it's just a matter of stuff opening back up and us getting back out on the stage and uh you know continuing from where we left off very cool yeah awesome now i know uh the last song we're gonna end up playing tonight uh, you'll see do it for jay on the screen in the background there since these folks here aren't going to be watching the fundraiser that's recorded from uh do, do me a little favor give me a little background for that so they can have an idea of what they're seeing as well as hearing um yeah my, my best friend growing up uh, is, uh his name is jay smith and um uh, back in about 2014, I, I believe I got an email from him letting me know that uh, he had di- was diagnosed with ALS. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is a band member of mine, um, like I said, a best friend growing up. We went to college together. And um, so uh, if anybody doesn't know what ALS is, um, it's a really debilitating disease. And now he's, he's in a wheelchair. He uh, can't speak. He speaks with his eyes, types mm-hmm. with his eyes. Um, and... Uh, it's a it's a really hard thing to go through, but we raise money for him every year through a charity fund. Um, usually, it's in January. This year, we're doing it virtually, mm-hmm. um, so that's why we're here at PBR Studios to record uh, the song "You and Me." And um, and honestly, all the all the money that goes uh, to the Every Ninety Minutes Fund and also to uh, the 
um, to to also the money that goes to you and me. Um, the the song on our on our website also goes to every ninety minutes as well. So it's a great it's a great uh, charity to be giving money to um, in in this time because he's such a uh, uh, he's in such need for it. So. Definitely. I mean, we've talked to his parents. We've kind of gotten to know a little bit of his background, the story. He's done some amazing things. He's still building. His mind's still sharp. I mean, just to hear yeah. what's coming out. Do me a favor. Where can we find the song to buy it? I know you said your website. Just tell me what it is. Yeah, it's just cinch.net. And uh, you just go there and you can go to the merchandise thing. And it's right on, uh, I believe, Bandcamp is where it is, where you can download it yep. from. I had to buy it myself to learn how to play the song. Yes, so. we did. We <laughs> contributed to the cause nice. ourselves. So, yes, uh, we have to buy our own songs. Even. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good cause. Exactly. So I mean, why not? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And, and so that's, that's the idea is just anything we can do to help Jay out. Um, not just a band member, not just, he's like been my friend since I was a little kid and I mean, you've known him too, man. Yeah. So, long time. We both went to school with him. Both, uh, went to CB West and, uh, Lenape. And so, yeah, it's, uh, um, I, I love the Smith family and I'm just happy to do anything I can to help out in any way I can. Glad and to thank, be a part of this honestly, myself too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for having hey, us here for you. this. No, thank you guys for coming down. Thank you very much for playing tonight, helping us keep another episode going, keep the show going, you know, moving things along here. All right. You guys, anything before we leave? Can't think anything no. off the top of my head. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, but just thank you guys for having us. And, uh, yeah, just hopefully when we come out of the other end of this thing, uh, you know, I don't think Pearl Jam's going to be allowed to play shows, but the Leadbetters <laughs> will be able to. So, well, there you go. <laughs> we'll be back. Not that that's good that Pearl Jam can't play, but uh, you know, for us it works out well. Yeah. There you go. All right, thank you guys for coming down. Thank you. Folks at home, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of the Sunday Sessions. Remember, you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Twitter, uh, Instagram, wherever you see here videos audio music you can probably most likely find us on there we try to spread it far and wide for your enjoyment thank you once again for tuning in and we'll see you hopefully soon uh you ready Rocco all right now this is you and me
you and me Thanks, everybody. Appreciate that very much. Thanks, Jay. Uh, I hope you're listening, man. I hope you're having a good night. And um, everybody, make sure you contribute to a, a really, really great cause. It doesn't get much better than this, man. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Rocco, especially, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>